Hello everyone, today we are going to build the CO2 emissions over time dashboard in Tableau Public. So this dashboard is really cool because it shows data from the World Bank and what we can do is we can actually see the CO2 per capita and the CO2 emission changes over time. So for example, we can see the United States had a CO2 per capita metric metric ton emission of 1004 and if we were to click on that we can see how the emission changes over time um, and we can see the rate that it changes so actually it peaked in the early 1970s and we've actually decreased in later years and the data goes from let's see 2011 until or 1960 to 2011 so we're going to build this um, this is a very simple dashboard that we're going to do and it shows some cool information some other things that it does that we're going to be doing is um, it shows um, different size dots or bubbles so we can see that uh, these different countries um, have different levels of CO2 output based on um, you know how much they do so we can see that Australia is maybe a more moderate um, emitter of CO2 output but this country over here such as Madagascar is super small so it's interactive it's something that shows a lot of cool data and it'd be a really good first introductory um, Tableau assignment or one where you're still learning. So first what I'm going to do in Tableau, I like using the um, the web app, this web authoring app right here under create. Um, some people like using this Tableau public uh, desktop edition. Um, personally I just like using it in the web browser because I think it's easiest. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to upload this um, the World Bank CO2 data set right here. And it's done. So it's updated our data and there are a couple different pieces of information that it's going to ask us. But what we're going to put in is we're going to put in the CO2 data cleaned. And how we do that is we're just going to take the CO2 data cleaned and we're going to drag, it says a table, but we're going to drag a worksheet from our Excel file into our Tableau um, app that we have right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to either create this act extract or you can just hit sheet one and what tableau will do is it will create an extract which essentially saves it to tableau and makes the data a little bit easier to work with and clean typically it only takes about 10 seconds um, while it saves that data and then we'll go ahead and get started with this dashboard. So first, what we're going to do, the first uh, sheet one that we have right here, we are going to name this CO2 per capita. CO2, let me do a capital Z, or capital O, CO2 per capita right here. And what this is going to show is it is going to show CO2 per capita. It's that map that I had. So we're gonna create a world map. We can either drag and drop country name um, onto the view such as this we can uh, double click or drag country name and it's automatically going to create this geographic map or if i undo that we can do country name and up here we can hit show me and it's going to have a couple different maps we can do and we're going to do what's called a symbol map so we go ahead and we introduce this symbol map and we can now see that every single country um you know we can just see there's a data point there you know we just have the country's name there isn't really data tied to that so next what we're going to do is we're going to drag the co2 per capita onto our view and when i do that it now shows um, co2 per capita in metric tons i believe and it shows the different size dots and these different sizes are meaningful and represent different levels or different amounts of co2 emissions so we want to clean this up a little bit and make it look a little bit nicer. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take the CO2 per capita again. And instead of dropping it on the view, I, under the marks card, I'm going to drop it onto color. And what this is going to let me do is it's going to let me uh, format the color scheme of this um, worksheet a little bit better. So I'm going to hit color, edit colors. And what I'm going to do, instead of doing automatic, um, I'm going to use uh, red, black, diverging. You know, CO2 emission is seen as bad, so I want red kind of stands for bad, bad, black stands for good. In accounting, you know, you want black and reds when you're in the negative. So the left-hand side is going to be the smallest numbers, so I want to flip that around. I want the red to be on the right side, and I want the black to be on the left, you know, because the lower amount of emissions you have, the better it is. The higher amount of emissions you have, the worse it is. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse these colors. If I wanted to, I could change the start and end points and the center points, 
but I'm not going to do that right now. So we have this red-black diverging palette, and the colors are reversed. So black's on the left, and red is on the right. And when I hit the X, we can now see that um, the countries are um, have this color scheme based on how much um, pollution, CO2 pollution, they put out in the atmosphere. So we can see Qatar has a big red bubble, so and they put out 2,830 metric tons per capita. That's per person. We can see Luxembourg is a, another big offender. The United States is, you know, moderate. They're not quite black. They're, they're gray. They're starting to get in between. Um, starting to get in between there. So for this one, this is simply all we're going to do for this worksheet. Let's go ahead and publish this. It's going to ask us for a name. A good name for this uh, workbook that we're going to do, it could be CO2 emissions over time. And one thing with Tableau Public is this is just, um, oh, it says a workbook named CO2 emission over time already exists. Overwrite it, yes. So I already have one that already exists. I've already created this. I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite it for the purposes of this video. Um, you know, if, if you have something named Executive Dashboard, you know, you have to use more unique names. Um, but with Tableau Public, um, you cannot save stuff offline. Um, so that's one thing about using the web app that... Um, isn't as um, beneficial. You know, you don't always have to be uploading in the Tableau um, desktop version, um, but it's not that big of a deal just to publish. So publishing is the exact same thing as saving, essentially. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to create another worksheet. And what this one is going to be, it is going to be CO2 emission changes over time. So let me name that CO2 emissions or emission changes over time. And what this is going to show is how emissions have changed over time per country. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add CO2 per capita um, to my view or to my canvas. So I'm just going to drop it up here. And when I do that, it just adds it to this canvas and it isn't really um, anywhere. So I'm actually going to hit the back button and I'm going to double click on the CO2 per capita. And what Tableau does is it kind of guesses where it's going to be and it actually puts uh, my CO2 per capita in the rows. So that looks really good there. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the year to the canvas. So I have the sum of uh, CO2 per capita in my rows, and I'm actually going to put the year. I can double click on that, or I can drag it to the columns, and it can kind of guess that I want the per capita in the rows and the year in the columns. So I can see over time in 1960, the CO2 per capita in metric tons per person was 313.5 metric tons. And it's 968.6 metric tons per capita in 2011. So from about 1960 to 1973, we just had this huge increase. You know, it, uh, it almost tripled CO2. And then we had this big drop off. And we've, you know, so, it looks like we've hit a ceiling right now. The rate of increase has really slowed down, you know. So in 2021, 2022, I'm not exactly sure if we'd be up, we'd be the same, or we'd be down. It'd be interesting to look at that. But this data only goes from 1960 to 2011. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to add the country name. We're going to essentially build one of these for every single individual country. So we're going to take the country name right here, and I'm just going to drag it and drop it onto the view. And when I do this, it now looks like I have you know, hundreds and hundreds of lines, which I do. And this will allow the dashboard to be more interactive. There are better ways of doing this, um, you know, once we get into some more advanced things. But for this first dashboard, this is a good way of just showing all of our data from for one of the first dashboards that uh, we're working on now. So it looks like a bunch of lines are all on top of each other. And what we're going to do, we want this to match the color scheme of our overall dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this CO2 per capita and I'm going to drag it onto the color button under the marks card. And when I do this, I'm going to hit colors or just color and I'm going to edit. And again, I'm going to go to that red black diverging and I'm going to reverse so that the black's on the left and the red's on the right. And here we can see the lower it is, the more black it is, the higher it is, the more red it is. And that is all for what we're going to be doing on this worksheet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to publish. So that essentially saves it. And now I'm going to create a, a dashboard. So down here in Tableau, we have worksheets, which are, you know, these visualizations that we're working on. We have dashboards, which is where you put all your visualizations together, all your worksheets. And then we have something called a story, which is kind of like a, it tells a story. It's kind of like a mix between a PowerPoint presentation and 
you know, Tableau. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a cool thing. But here, go ahead and create a dashboard, and you can title this dashboard whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as generic dashboard one. The first thing I'm going to do right here, it says size. So automatically it says fixed size, and it assumes, you know, that I'm on a desktop browser. If I wanted to optimize this, you know, for PowerPoint or for maybe for a blog, if I'm going to embed this in my website or, you know, I want people to do that, or maybe if I'm a company and I, you know, our workers work on iPads, you know, I can optimize it for iPads. But here I'm actually going to change it from fixed size to be automatic. So no matter what device you're on and no matter what screen size you have going on, it'll automatically adjust and it'll look good. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to add these sheets to our dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drag and drop the CO2 per capita onto the view. I'm just going to put it right here and we can see our CO2 per capita map. It looks good. We can see everything, but let's go ahead and drag and drop our CO2 emission changes over time um, below the CO2 per capita sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it below and this this right here, you can see how it goes all the way to the edge. So when I do this, it goes all the way to the edge. So I would put it below the legend and the map here. I'm just going to put it right below the map. So you can see the gray box just goes between the map. It goes, um, you know, from the left side of my screen. It doesn't go all the way to the right, um, but I'm just going to put it right below. And when I drag and drop and do that, now I can see the CO2 emission changes over time and the CO2 per capita right next to each other and I have these legends right here. I actually don't want these legends. I don't find them very meaningful in this context. So I'm actually going to click on them. I'm going to hit this X and I'm going to remove it from dashboard. And then same with the CO2 per capita. I'm going to hit the X and remove it from my dashboard. And these automatically resize to the full um, size of the chart. Um, so one thing I'm going to do, if I wanted to, you know, click Russia and I wanted this map down here, the CO2 emissions over time to update with me, um, that'd be really nice. And one way to do that is you click on your um, view that we have right here. We click on this worksheet and there's this little, uh, looks like a funnel and it says use as a filter, use as filter. And when I hit this use as filter, um, it's actually going to filter this second worksheet. So whenever I change anything on the CO2 per capita map, it's going to automatically reflect that change in the CO2 emission changes over time. So if I wanted to see Canada, now it only shows me the CO2 changes over time. So now I can see that Canada, you know, has increased. And in 1972, they really, uh, you know, flattened out. 1979 was their high, and they've really stayed in this channel, you know, between 15,000 or 15 and 18 metric tons. And they've actually broken down, and you know, as of 2011, they're almost under 14 metric tons per capita. So here. This is our almost finished dashboard. It looks really good, but if someone were to view this, you know, we kind of want to explain what they're looking. Um, so let's go ahead and add a title to this. We're going to add text. So under objects right here, I'm going to select text and I'm going to drag this all the way to the top of my dashboard. So above the CO2 per capita. And what I wanted to say is I just kind of want to explain what I'm doing. So I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to say, which country has the highest CO2, oh cow, CO2 emissions per capita. And then I'm going to ask or add a subheader, and then it says, are the rates increasing? And one cool thing about Tableau is whatever you change in this text edit window, this text edit box, it'll reflect on your text. It's the same with tooltips, everything. So here, this is kind of like my title. So I'm going to make this Tableau bold. This is kind of like their, um, you know, their self-explanatory. It's their bold. And I'm going to make this text a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it, you know, we can try 22. And under are the rates increasing, you know, I could make this an indent and then maybe under nine I could you know maybe change this to 14 you know and I could center it as well so now when I hit this um, okay it shows which country has the highest co2 emissions per capita are the rates increasing it looks like this didn't save when I centered everything so let's go ahead and select everything in this text box I'm gonna go ahead and center it again now when I hit okay it shows and it's centered um, there is some white space I want to get rid of so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna you know select this you see that my cursor changes from um, you know, it's just a cur the, the click cursor to an arrow with an up and a down, and I'm actually going to adjust it so it gets a little bit skinnier. 
So the title is just right there at the beginning. So now if someone were to look at this viz, look at this visualization, it would look very neat. It would look very clean. And it would say, you know, which country has the highest CO2 emissions per capita? Are the rates increasing? And one thing about this, if I were to save my viz exactly like this, if I were to publish it, anytime anyone would go and look at my viz, so I can do it right here, it's automatically going to show Canada being selected. You know, so... Um, I just clicked on this, you know, I pretend like this is my first time viewing it. And when I click on it, it shows Canada, you know, by default. But I don't want that. I kind of want it to just show everything by default. So here, instead of clicking on Canada, I'm just going to click out of it. Um, what I did, you can either click Canada and you can either click it again to get everything up again. Or you can just click out of it. Um, you can change the sizes of this. I'm going to make this map a little bit bigger. I'm going to reduce the height of the CO2 emission change over time. Um, you know, so if I were to click on Russia, we can see it, you know, and we can see the tooltip provides meaningful information. But just to save, I'm just going to click out of it and I'm going to hit publish. And that is it for our CO2 emissions over time dashboard. So I'll go ahead and publish, publish it a couple times just to make sure you're okay. And now when I refresh this page, when I go to my uh, profile, I'm Brandon Griffin. Um, we can see my CO2 emissions over time. Um, viz, my visualization. When I click on it, I now have this interactive dashboard and I can answer the question, which country has the highest, highest CO2 emissions per capita? Well, looking at this, it's going to be the one that has the highest red circle and it looks like it is Qatar. You know, and it's going to exclude it. So in 1960, we can see good Qatar had 3.72 metric tons of CO2 emissions per capita, but in 1962 to 1963, it just exploded, you know, almost uh, 33 times about, and then it's slowly gone down, but they're still relatively high, um, you know, so something definitely happened between 62 and 63. So this is our walkthrough for today. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop a comment below and have a great day.